in the black coat. This was in the middle of July. And I stopped him and I said, what are all these people praying for? And he looked at me and he said, everybody wants to win the lottery. <laughs> and, but then he got serious and he told me that everybody prays to peace. And it occurred to me that there I was in the city that has probably seen more killing and definitely more wars than any other place on earth. And everybody's praying for peace. Have you been to Jerusalem, the city built of stone? Where the faithful come to pray to God, the sinners to atone. Where the reasons for so many wars depend on who you ask. Speak of guns and shrapnel bombs in synagogues and mosques. In the stations of the cross, they're just places in your mind where the tourists make the most of it with their cameras for their eyes. In the postcards of the sacred are soon framed by the profane. In the merchants of religion, the sentimentals of the pain. Have you been to Jerusalem? Have you seen the wailing wall? Where the crevices are always full with rolled up paper scrolls, with the wishes of the pious asking for eternal peace. It could happen in their lifetime if God kills their enemies. And the stations of the cross, they're just places in your mind. Where the tourists make the most of it with their cameras for their eyes. And the clicking of the shutters and the ticking of the bombs is the beat that keeps them dancing in the new Jerusalem. Just the places in your 
mine. Where the tourists speak, the folks speak with their cameras for their eyes. And they speak of the Messiah, and they promise in his name all the glories of the afterlife. About the dead, they can't. Jerusalem. Have you looked inside your heart? They both walled off into quarters just to keep the blood apart. <laughs> but the past, it is no reason for the killing and the hate. It's the love that's in our future that will lead us to the gate. And the stations of the cross, they're just 